and welcome to The Loop on Location. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Kayla Aloff. Today, we are in District 3, which is home to eight counties in North Central Ohio. Something unique about District 3 is they provide snow and ice control to Kelly's Island. They also do all the maintenance on the signs and the roadways. And District 3 is home to the roller coaster capital of the world, Cedar Point. By the way, planning maintenance and construction around Cedar Point during their peak season can be pretty challenging. The Charlesbury Bascule Bridge is one of only two bridges on ODOT's system. Now that's cool because there are 44,000 bridges in the entire state. Tim's here with me. Tim, I guess sort of explain. This is a pretty cool bridge how this works, isn't it? Well, it sure is. For a really complex bridge, it's kind of a simple design in that it's a counterweight balanced rising mechanism uh, operated by two 150 horsepower engines on each side. So when the tender wants to open the bridge, he throws a switch. The counterweights help balance the bridge, opens up pretty smoothly and quickly. And the same thing in the reverse. Coming up in 2018, we're actually going to do a $23 million rehabilitation project on this bridge, replacing a lot of the steel members, the decking, and make sure this bridge is in working order for years to come. Roundabouts are very popular here in District 3. In fact, they just built this one here in Medina County. Another is being constructed in Wayne County. And by the end of the summer, another will be built here in Medina County. Now, these are a little bit safer than a traditional intersection, correct, Scott? That's right. Uh, at a roundabout, there are fewer conflict points, meaning fewer opportunities for vehicles to intersect and cause crashes. Now, another big part of this design, then, is the rate of speed that vehicles travel at. That's right. Uh, roundabouts are designed for vehicles to go about 20 to 25 miles per hour inside the circulating roadway. So much lower speeds than a traditional four-lane high-speed intersection. Do you think it's safe to say that there'll be more roundabouts popping up in the future? Yeah, roundabouts are shown statistically to be safer than traditional four-leg intersections, so there's a good chance there'll be more popping up around the state. So at the end of the day, creating more roundabouts means a safer travel for you. When the Loopers arrived in District 3, we couldn't wait to tell them about our impressive concrete crew located right here in Ashland County. The quality and quantity of their work is so impressive that other counties have actually asked them for their help. So of course, we asked the Who Knew Guru to tell you more. Thanks, Haley. Actually, we're here at the intersection of 511 and 302, and I got my man Brad with me. How you doing, Brad? Doing good, Dave. Good, man. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now we're talking about the Ashland County Specialized Concrete Crew. Tell me some more about that and why it's important for the motoring public. Well, it's important, Dave, because we're able to make job-specific, high-quality products for our customers. So basically it's more efficient and we can get more work done over a period of a, of a maintenance season. And so in the last few years, tell me about uh, how many projects have you done and some more stats. We've constructed well over 100 drainage structures being head walls, catch basins, etc. In concrete terms, that would equate to about 84 dump trucks worth of concrete. Wow, that's impressive. And it's all for making you, the motor in public, have a safe travel. Who knew? Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Of course, connect with us on social media, and we'd love to hear your ideas. Drop us an email at loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now, yeah. I actually kind of sound like I know what I'm talking about.